Hi guys! For those of you who don't know me, I'm Carolina and I work with data. Many of you have asked me, what is a better career choice? Machine learning or software engineering? When I was doing my master's degree in computer science, I had the exact same dilemma and many of my course mates did as well. Both careers are lucrative, both are rewarding, yet they are completely different. Now, I've been working in the industry for a little bit now, so hopefully I can bring some useful insights to the table. So, in this video, we will compare machine learning and software engineering careers, taking into account the following factors. One, salary and growth in job openings. Two, barriers to entry. Three, your predispositions. Four, predictions for the next 10 years. If you're ready, then let's get started. Money is important and many people are drawn into technology precisely because of money. And there's probably nothing wrong in that. So let's just have a look at the salary breakdown of machine learning engineers versus software engineers in the US and in the UK. So first, let's have a look at the American market. On average, software engineers earn $92,000 per year. That can be contrasted with $114,000 for machine learning engineers, again, on average. In the UK, the situation looks quite similar. The salary for software engineers is on average £43,000 compared to £47,000 for machine learning engineers. This data was taken from Glassdoor. Uh, it obviously doesn't take into account the geographic breakdown within each country. So for example, if you work as a software engineer or machine learning engineer in the Silicon Valley, obviously you are going to earn much more than what I just quoted. This is just an average. And same for London uh, in case of the UK. The point is that, as you can see, in both countries, machine learning engineers earn marginally more than software engineers. But what about the demand for machine learning engineers versus software engineers? In order to analyze that, let's have a look at the number of job openings as quoted by indeed.com. So according to that website, between 2015 and 2018, the number of job openings for machine learning engineers rose by 344%. Can you imagine that? And the number of software engineering positions rose by 207% in the same period. Remarkable growth in both areas. But again, the number of job openings for machine learning engineers grew a bit more. So when it comes to the financial aspect, it appears that machine learning engineers win. The second aspect we are going to consider are your predispositions. Now, I believe that this is the most important factor in the whole decision process. And what I mean by that is that machine learning and software engineering are completely different fields. They call for completely different skills and you need to have completely different mindsets to solve machine learning problems versus software engineering problems. Now, you might be naturally more suited to do machine learning or maybe you're more naturally suited to do software engineering. So let's compare and see. What is machine learning? Well, machine learning is statistics, period. Statistics means maths. If you are not good at maths, Forget about machine learning. And I'm not saying that you cannot learn it because you probably can if you put enough effort into it. What I'm saying is that you'll find it extremely difficult. And what's the point? So machine learning is for someone who loves complex mathematical riddles, thinking in abstract theoretical way. So what is software engineering? Well, software engineering is a type of engineering and that means putting things together so that they work. It is a much more practical area 
What is important is your creativity, practicality. It is not important that you know maths because usually that's not really involved in the process. So that's one distinction between machine learning and software engineering. Another distinction is that in software engineering, you get this instantaneous feedback from the system. So you do something, you, you code up your solution and it either works or it doesn't work. Basically, you get this feedback and, and you know that you did something right, if you did something right. And that makes you happy. Whereas in machine learning, there are so many arbitrary things that happen in, in, in machine learning. If you're getting very shady results, it might be that you didn't clean your data right, or it might be that the data is inherently messy and you can't do much about it, or it might be that you've initialized your hyperparameters to wrong values, or it might be that this algorithm is not the best fit for the data and it can be you know a series of things and you just don't know and you will never know for sure which one of these it is and because you don't know whether you're doing something right or wrong it doesn't give you that instantaneous satisfaction instantaneous feedback The number of technologies that you have to know to do machine learning is actually quite limited which is good or bad depending on how you look at it but basically all you have to know pretty much is python and sql your job is to come up with algorithms so all the maths is more important and then the idea is that you just have to put it into a code python is sufficient to do that one downside of software engineering is that you have to know a lot of technologies uh, especially if you are a full stack developer which means that you have to know the back end and front end so you have to know sql some object-oriented language like java or c sharp and um, maybe python and if you do web technologies as well then you also have to know javascript and it's gazillion of, of frameworks so you know being a software developer is a never-ending learning curve can a curve be never-ending it's just that it's, it's a long curve there is no horizon uh oh one second my lamp just decided to die I can't blame it, it's so hot. So whether you are better suited to machine learning or software engineering is dependent on whether you A, love complex maths, then machine learning's for you, or B, you love creating stuff, building stuff, then software engineering is for you. Overall, a draw. The third consideration is barriers to entry. For machine learning, the barriers to entry are quite high. Very often in job openings, you'll see that what is required uh, is an advanced degree in mathematics, statistics, computer science, or other quantitative degrees. Sometimes they even explicitly ask for a PhD in those areas. Now, that's not always the case, and I even made a separate video about how to get a job in machine learning without a specialized degree in those quantitative areas. However, it is often the case that this degree is at least helpful. That can be contrasted with software engineering. Sometimes the job openings ask for a degree, but rarely it is an advanced degree like master's or PhD. And even if you don't have a bachelor's degree, often it is enough to have a portfolio of projects that you've coded uh, so that you can basically have an evidence that you can code. So in this category, I believe software engineering wins. So let's talk about the predictions for the next 10 years. Unsurprisingly, machine learning is still on the rise given the crazy amounts of data that we produce every day. 
Every day, 500 million tweets are sent. Four petabytes of data are created on Facebook. 294 billion emails are sent. Four terabytes of data are created on every connected car. 65 billion messages are sent on WhatsApp. Five billion searches are made. So we generate a lot of data and someone will have to be drawing insights from the data for governments, for businesses. And I also think that uh, many machine learning engineers at smaller companies in particular will have to learn the data engineering skills uh, because data engineering skills will be extremely important. Software engineering isn't going anywhere for the next 10 years as well. However, the trend is that we will be coding less and less. It is happening now and it will be certainly even more prominent in the future. So basically what software engineering is going to be about is gluing things together, understanding the ecosystem, how various applications talk to each other. And you know what? I think that's fun. Um, I'm actually looking forward to that change because I think it frees up creativity. I personally prefer this aspect of building things rather than coming up with the most efficient solution. You might be different, but well, I value efficiency, but not to the point when it basically slows you down that it's not efficient anymore. Like I wouldn't spend days and days trying to come up with this perfect algorithm. I just want to move on. Okay, so here a draw again both software engineering and machine learning will be in demand in the future. So we have a tie between the two careers. Now to pick the right one for you, ask yourself these questions. Do you prefer mathematical riddles or building things? Do you have a specialized degree or can you afford to get one? Or do you not? Because a degree might be a prerequisite for many machine learning jobs. It doesn't have to be, but it might be. Answering these questions should help you to decide between the two careers. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new to this channel. This is very important to me. It's very important data for me because then I know that this is the kind of content that you are interested in watching and I can focus on in the future. As always, if you have any comments, questions, problems, whatever, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.